Hey guys, welcome back to Art Club. I'm excited to have you guys here today, and today we have a lot of fun. Well, every day we have lots of fun, but especially today. So the first thing we're going to want to do, because we are painting today, which is lots of fun, but it can also get messy. So you can see I've got my paint area ready to go. I've got a paper bag down. You could use newspaper, whatever you've got around, right? Maybe you've got a special tablecloth that you like to use for painting. Um, but I would set something down just so we don't make a mess on, you know, your desk or table or wherever you're working. Um, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is get your pink and your purple piece of paper. So those are the two we're going to be using for the first part here. Um, and we are going to actually be painting those, just randomly painting them, all four of the colors that you got in your kit. So... Um, you can see I've already done that with mine and all I did to paint them was I started with the lightest color first and I put down some globberies. Yes, that is the official word. Globberies. I don't know if that's a real word or not, but I like it. So I put down some globberies of paint just like this and I took my paintbrush and I just started making streaks until my entire paper was covered with all four of my colors. Um, so, you know, initially with the first color, it didn't have the um, entire paper covered at that point. I can always put down a few more um, collaborators too here. So I did, you know, the yellow first, then I did the green, then the orange, and then I ended with the darkest color, which for me was red and yours might be different that's okay i'm just kind of making random streak marks around here though making sure that eventually by the time i do all four of my colors that i get all the way to the edges as well and i did that with both my pink and my um purple sheets of paper so that's how we did that we're just going to let these dry now because we're actually going to be using these tomorrow in sort of a mosaic fashion so we need these to be completely dry for art club tomorrow so we're going to set those aside once you're done now this is going to take a little bit of time obviously i already had mine done for the video um but i'm going to show you guys while we're while we're going here the bonus activity for today and tomorrow because i recognize that a lot of people will get done with that brush um painting a little bit earlier than our 30 minutes of class time allows so i planned a bonus thing so if you want to you can also go ahead then and grab out your light blue piece of paper. And I drew, I'll put it this way so you guys can see it. I just drew a maple leaf on mine. You could do an oak leaf or a leaf from a flower. Any kind of leaf will do. Um, but we're going to be using a technique called pointillism. So you kind of hear the word point in pointillism. And it's a, t a painting technique where you use like points or dots in order to create your image. So today I'm just going to be getting a start on this. I don't need to finish it because I will probably have some time um, at the end of Art Club tomorrow that we can complete this then. So I just started by drawing a maple leaf on there. Remember, you can do any kind of leaf that you want. And I included like the veins of the leaf and the stem of the leaf. Um, the, you can use that in form, um, actually using the pointillism technique, a pencil eraser, like just a regular old pencil with the eraser at the end works really well. I'm just using the um, the pen that I had sitting next to me. Anything with like a flat back end will work. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on that end of my pencil or my pen, whatever you're using. And I'm going to use that then to make boop, some dots as we go around. Usually can get a few dots each time and sometimes I go back and grab from the first dot because that one tends to have a little bit more paint. But whenever you need to, just reload your pencil or pen back, get a little bit more paint on it, and keep on going. So that's where we're going with the any bonus time that we might have at the end of club today. Um, so for today, we're probably only going to get to one color. Um, but then tomorrow, if, if this works out with your timing and everything like that, depending on how long it takes to do... Um, the first part of today's activity as well as the first part of tomorrow's activity but then we're going to be able to go over it with more colors to bring in you know the veins and just adding some more detailed colors I'll probably add like some orange 
to my leaf too, maybe even some yellow. We'll see, we'll see what tomorrow brings. But that is going to be our bonus part of Art Club today, is just getting you know as much of that done as you can. And if you wanna work on it a little bit after, you could do that too. All right, I hope you have fun painting. Don't make a mess. If you do, clean it up. And always make sure to get those covers back on your paints right away. Wash your brush and your pencil or pen so that that doesn't dry on there and get caked on. We'll see you guys tomorrow.